In the tumultuous era of the 1600s, London was far from the bustling metropolis we know today. Instead, it was a city shrouded in danger, where the perils of murder and mugging lurked around every corner. This particularly ominous atmosphere took a dark twist when it came to the safety of unaccompanied women walking the streets, as they were especially vulnerable to the sinister forces that roamed the city. Imagine yourself transported to the year 1681, a time when gas lamps barely flickered in the inky London night. You, an unescorted woman, are making your way through the labyrinthine streets, your heart racing with fear as you navigate your path. To reach your destination, you must traverse a dimly lit alleyway, and your steps quicken in dread. Suddenly, out of the shadows emerges a mysterious figure, sending a surge of terror through your veins. You brace for the worst, expecting a violent assault, but in a bizarre twist of events, the stranger does something wholly unexpected. Instead of harming you, he abruptly lifts the hem of your dress and delivers a sharp smack to your posterior. Before you can react or even catch a glimpse of the assailant, he disappears into the night, leaving behind the echoing proclamation of Spanko. Indeed, it may sound like a scene from a comedic sketch, but the truth is that London was haunted by a peculiar and enigmatic figure during this era, a man who would later become known as Whipping Tom. His infamy was such that he made the act of spanking women in dark alleyways his twisted calling card. Whipping Tom's hunting grounds primarily included the areas of Strand, Fleet Street, and Holborn, where he would patiently wait for his unsuspecting victims in the shadows of dimly lit passages. His targets were invariably lone women, and his modus operandi involved lifting their skirts and subjecting them to a humiliating spanking, all while exclaiming the infamous phrase Spanko. His uncanny ability to vanish swiftly from the scene fueled rumors that he might be a supernatural entity, adding a layer of mystique to his already bizarre crimes. Though the idea of a sex-crazed lunatic spanking women and shouting Spanko might have an absurd, almost comical quality, it is important to remember that these were, in fact, assaults. Authorities took these offenses very seriously, and London's female residents began to take matters into their own hands for self-defense, arming themselves with pen knives and scissors. The inability of the authorities to apprehend the elusive whipping Tom prompted public outrage and criticism of London's policing. In a desperate bid to capture this elusive assailant, some men resorted to dressing in women's clothing and lurking in the very alleyways where Whipping Tom was known to strike. Eventually, after a spree of terrifying attacks, law enforcement managed to arrest a man believed to be responsible for the assaults. Unfortunately, the trial records from this time have been lost to history, leaving us forever in the dark about what punishment, if any, was meted out to the notorious Whipping Tom and his accomplice. The strange and unsettling saga of Whipping Tom remains a peculiar footnote in the annals of London's history, a reminder of the enigmatic and sometimes chilling stories that lurk within the shadows of any city's past.